Welcome everybody, welcome to my channel and welcome to this new tutorial. This is what we will try to create in a nutshell a line that's uh, running through the body a little or so that's running through the body of the car. I have another uh, render. Here is another variation. So we will talk about how we create this one and how to render it in the chip. So this is a pinky golden car. Okay. So uh, to run the variation and uh, which is I use tops now. So it's still running for another uh, variation. Maybe I can show you also. So here is another one. With different color. Very cool. Okay. So this is the top. We'll talk about it uh, later. So here, let me go to that object. Menu or area, so a grid. And here I have the file. So first thing first, we'll go to the top. So I am bought. As we mentioned, we have the car that we transform it to the scale. And we want to have a lot of triangle. So the line can go zigzag. We put it in the ground. Then I'm splitting only the body. And as you can see here in the body, it's different pieces. But if we select negative geometry, see. So if I choose any point that I want to run it through the body, it won't work because they are separated. So what I did, I make the body peak a little bit. Just a tiny, so it, uh, the line won't go inside, and I fuse it to make it as a one body. Select now. See, it's one geometry now. Then, in order to create the lines, we will use this node. Find shortest path. And for this, find shortest path to make it run. We need uh, two things: we need starting point and end point. So if we have created a sphere, Here, just make it larger. Okay. And I want to have the fine shortest path. Immediately, it won't work. No starting point. I specified so. We create a group here. We call it a start. And here, I want to cho choose a point. It's a this point now here I can select that starting point now it will be no end point so create another group and make it a point let's call it end and let's choose say all the points 
window right here in the endpoint so where is the line can choose more than one point couple of points here and here, here. so we start to see uh, more points here maybe I can choose more points also so we have more points so that's the idea so what we are doing here, we are trying to generate a variation for the points so after the fuse I create a group select and I want the lines to go from front all the way to the back so I created a box and I select all of these points for it as well then I don't want uh, all the ones, I want random points the random points <coughs> I'm selecting according uh, to the range and for the top I am offsetting making an offset so each variation it will give me different number like this if I go here to the top see I call it offset let's generate the point side oh, where is side Should noise. sides yeah this one anyway <coughs> then I created another group and this group is in the back here doing the same selecting a couple of points and here in the point four what I'm doing here I'm trying to create an attribute so that not the whole lines will follow the same path like like this I want them to go everywhere so they will look at this attribute wherever it is low they will use whatever it is wide and high so it's costing them a lot of effort they will try to avoid <coughs> and this attribute is going there here it's called cost attribute point cost attribute so I, I created this attribute okay nothing fancy just uh, a noise take it from the point I added a noise and I'm creating bin export for this point as a float values and here also I'm using the frequency to make it which also so then I have one example this one the lines will run on top of each other I fuse it and if you look at it it's very edgy and sharp so I resemble it with subdivision then I added a curve that's animating for the starting and the ending like this over a hundred frame and I'm exporting it out on the other side I took the body give it a material to the glass and to the remaining of the body and the wheel and putting it out <coughs> 
with shift uh, light on with an X XR uh, with uh, HDR I map and couple of cameras. Camera one and camera two. So we have camera one. Camera one is animated to the side and camera two. The materials, nothing fancy. For the lines, we use a strip with some custom nice color, and there is the emission that's very high. <coughs> so here in the color in the strips, I went to the strand and I made this very small default scale. Then in task. I created a top network and I'm wedging to count for the offset what's to count for the frequency of the noise and two counts for the offset <coughs> and I'm creating uh, two out two grid shift cameras that I include here the which index in each one so most important thing is the schedule because I'm doing grid shift on the GPU so I'm making sure the job parameter I'm running a single job and if I make it run both will run together so it will uh, give error so what I did in the schedule work out in priority I make this one one and I make this one two so priority for this one will finish it will kick off and start this one as you can see in the here started this one will it finish then start to move here after that I'm merging I think here it's wrong I should put uh, each one separated because I want to give it an overlay the overlay will uh, will have the information this is frame 80 offset how much frequency how much and the side is how much this one overlay is doing by adding these uh, codes back text at, at the global variable that we defined in the which partition by frame so I collect each one according to the frame so image uh, magic will make the mosaic then we'll create that movie and here I'm creating a movie for each camera and each which so when it finish I will <coughs> upload it also so thank you very much for watching <coughs>